we have this courtesy of RA as well. This is pretty crazy news, but also made me kind of laugh because I was thinking to myself, like, I wonder how many DJs out here have kind of have, have had similar experiences, and I also wonder which DJ out there would people like to see in this situation and it be a successful carjacking. I'd, I'd would like to know which one because I'm sure there are some people out there that think, you know what? If so and so could get caught up in a car jacket, it'd actually make the world a better place. But anyway, let's read the article. Courtesy of RA, it says, Feeling lucky to be alive. Hot since 82 cancels Brazil gigs after car chase involving a gunman. Yo, those niggas in Brazil do not play. Not only will they jack your phone, not only will they take your chain, your camera, your backpack if you're not on your P's and Q's they will try and take your car <laughs> with straps it's like what car was he driving it's probably a higher car like I, I doubt it was like some sort of fucking porsche or something it's probably some standard higher car that you drive when you're on the holiday and these brazilian goons still want to take that shit with guns like god damn it you could just take it by speaking portuguese loudly and i'm gonna shake you don't need to fucking whip out your gun bro speak that portuguese in a brazilian accent and you know with your with your imagine imagine a guy rolling up to you with, in a brazilian accent no speaking portuguese in a brazilian accent with havanas on golden brown scream you're gonna give them everything they don't need to pull out a gun god damn it you can always detail the hiring experience on instagram dj and producer hot since 82 cancelled two gigs in brazil over the weekend after narrowly escaping a car chase to be fair though you know that's what some people would argue that's what happens if you go to fucking brazil and try and play deep house you go to brazil trying to play business techno they're like bruh what the fuck is this shit we have our own shit we don't need, we, we don't want to hear business techno <laughs> in fucking rio <laughs> do you know what i mean <laughs> maybe he didn't read the room correctly um detailed in the video on instagram the incident took place in the early hours of saturday may 4th after the uk artist show at the casa franca brazil in rio de janeiro um he starts the video by saying he feels very lucky to be alive <laughs> i want to hear what he has to say look at him he looks scared in it <laughs> <laughs> they put the love they put the fear of god in him look at him he looks fucking scared oh my god let's see the let's actually watch it i actually want to watch this on fucking right let me actually go to his instagram account he looks absolutely scared bro he looks like he looks frightened let me just quickly go through the video bear with me a second here as it links up oh my god big up hot nights since hot distance 82 Oh, actually, I've just checked the stream chat as well. Yo, big up Young Old Vibes. Thank you for being a supporter. Big up Young Old Vibes. Thank you for being a Taz believer. I appreciate you, Young Old Vibes. I appreciate you. Um, also just saw... Um, also just saw Eli Windsor. Big up Eli Windsor. K is 20 pound a, a G in the UK. I don't really know. I don't really take care as much as people believe I do. But it's a good meme. But from last time I checked, K is actually quite expensive. Last time I checked, it's not that cheap because it's pretty popular here in the uk and everyone does it socially so last time i checked i think kit is like 30 to 40 pounds i think per g from what i remember people playing on the on the street price but again i don't really do it so i don't really know what it is day to day but the people i know it's like yeah <laughs> eli i like it lol yeah i bet you do eli i bet you do let's get the video and see what hot since 82 had to say about these experience hey guys uh I'm just announcing why I won't be making the Warung Festival today in Curitiba and the Time Warp Festival later on today as well. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit broken right now. I'm just feeling very lucky to be alive. Uh, left the club at 5 a.m. Still dark. Mum, as my mum always said, man, nothing good honestly happens after 9 p.m. My mum always said that, and. I remember back in the day, I used to hate her for saying that because it's kind of like a mood killer. Do you know what I mean? But every t every time I hear somebody having a dicey experience, it's always either late at night or early in the morning. <laughs> it's never in business hours. <laughs> you never get carjacked, you know, on your way to work or on your way back home from work. <laughs> it's always it's always when you're like been creeping in the streets, you know cheating on your partner or seeing your second family or leaving a club or whatever do you know what i mean that's the only time bullshit happens 10 minutes into the car journey to the airport we've been followed. and by the way look at diplo in the fucking comments as well How, like isn't it horrible 
way to make it all about yourself you fucking speng damn i just landed in rio sad face bro it's not about you it's about this guy it's about fucking hot sensei too how, how do you make it all about you people that do that so subtly they always impress me how do you make it so subtly about you i just landed in rio like okay we don't give a fuck like <laughs> what just 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 extend your condolences say you're sorry it happened to him and keep it moving damn i just landed in rio you know what a trollop and pursued by a gang of jackers murderers i don't know what they are waving <laughs> a, a gang of black jackers murderers fucking niggers <laughs> he wanted to say it so bad didn't he he wanted to say it so bad fucking niggers <laughs> gear 47s with four magazines at us they've well we've been set up they knew exactly where we were what car and exactly where we were going to be at which time which leads me to believe that we were set up if it wasn't for the heroic maneuvers of our driver i don't even know if we'd be alive right now oh I really don't. they're their own they their own john wick imagine getting duppied in brazil for playing fucking deep house for playing you know edm all right Oh, what, what does he play? Hot Nights Night 2. Is it, it's, it's more Deep House, isn't it? He kind of reminds me of those. I don't know what guy I'm trying to think of, but there's another dude too. I think he's from Newcastle. He kind of reminds me of that guy. It's that, it's that particular brand of, you know, you know what I mean. It's that particular type of electronic music that most people don't want to hear. It's that type of stuff that you would have heard if Topshop still existed. But now you, it doesn't exist, so you don't really hear that type of music played anymore. You have to just hear it in fucking shitty Instagram videos. But again, making terrible music isn't an excuse to get carjacked. But, you know, it's up there. It's up there. Uh, we had to, we were on a busy motorway, pitch black. The car in front have pressed the brakes for us to stop. <laughs> and then the people hung out of the car windows with barraclavas mm. and AK-47s. Wow. Our driver has put the car in reverse. We've been flying down a busy motorway in the, going the wrong way, weaving in and out of cars. If the AK-47 shooters didn't get us, then we're lucky that we didn't have a really bad car crash because we're weaving in and out of oncoming traffic going 60, 70 miles per hour. should have got that on video, brother, man. You should have put that on video. You should have got your phone out, whipped, recorded that shit, and then used the footage for like a video later on. Do you know what I mean? you gotta i mean you gotta make you gotta make something out of these hiring situations you know what i mean just put a video like you stick your tongue like that you know <laughs> you're reversing back at fucking 80 miles per hour careering down a brazilian fucking motorway that should have been what you did bro not cower behind the back seat get your phone out isn't it if you're gonna die you might as well die in fucking fashion with the car full of ak-47s following us they were adamant they were gonna get us they wouldn't stop We've had to go miles and miles <laughs> down a motorway stop. in reverse to try mm. to get away from the, the shooters. <laughs> Obviously, as you can imagine, it was like a scene from Fast and Furious. I'm giggling about it, but I'm fucking broken inside. Like, that's... <laughs> He's staring around the room. He doesn't know if they're going to crash into his room, innit? She lose faith in humanity. Knowing you, which, which humanity do you lose faith in? You lose faith in the black niggas' humanity or just humanity in general? Who do you lose faith in? Hmm? Or the coloured folk? Who do you lose faith in? Someone has told Please describe what these jackers look like. Please describe what they look like in detail. <laughs> these shooters where we're going to be. Someone that I've seen maybe tonight. I've had to change hotel rooms. And uh, <laughs> I booked the first flight out of here. And mm. I, to be honest, I don't even know when I'm, if I'll ever come back to Brazil now. <laughs> Good riddance, man. I'm sure some people are saying good riddance. No one's really gonna miss your music like that, bro. Let's relax. You know what I mean, let's let's chill out. Uh, <laughs> he's so scared. <laughs> I sympathise with the people of Brazil that have to live their daily life like this in fear. Leaving a club, leaving, going to a club, just DJing should be about happiness and bringing joy to people's lives, not. Mm, debatable i love djs and clubs much as anybody but debatable bro debatable you niggas aren't essential workers like if you all disappear tomorrow life will be just as fine i'm not gonna lie <laughs> leaving the club and wondering will i get home safe you know i have children at home my wife's about to deliver 
our next baby in six weeks time i i, I can't risk being being in a position like like this if you care about your family you should quit djing then isn't it really it puts you in harm's way all the time you're in nightclubs surrounded by sweat drunky you know fucked up people everywhere you go maybe you know maybe your career behind the scenes you know managing people will be in line if you've got kids that's a shitty defense but you know whatever it's not worth it no dj show or fees is worth it and uh i've had such a wicked time here in rio as well people are amazing man i like really sympathize with the people of brazil that like i said i have to live the daily life like this it's not fair humanity is cruel man like it makes you lose faith in humanity and that's where i am right now feel a bit emotional but i am fucking broken so i'm out of here <laughs> I'm out of here. He ran away. Okay, fair play, man. Um, hot night, hot since eighty two. He's a, he's okay now, anyway. So we can you know we can laugh because he's okay. Um, knowing me, I probably would have laughed even if he wasn't okay. But regardless, he is okay, so we can laugh. Um, keep your head up, brother. Keep your head up. It happens, in it. Maybe stick to a uh, IB for and shit. You know these places probably don't really blend well with the tunes. They just or maybe they didn't even know who he was. Maybe they just saw him as a white dude and just thought he was an easy lick. That also could be possible. Maybe they didn't have any idea who he was. Just so him as an easy lick. And obviously it didn't work out. And obviously he's okay. So everything's okay. Let's not cry over spilt milk.